Okay, here is how we step it up and do a dye hybrid cross. Okay, a dye hybrid cross. So a dye hybrid cross means there's two traits. So we have P color. So, okay, P color and P shape. Okay, so P color and P shape. Um, notice it said green is dominant. Okay, yellow is recessive. P shape, R round is dominant, wrinkled is recessive. Okay. So I might just want to write that on the top is green, little g is yellow, big R is round, little r is wrinkled. Okay. And I can come back and I can do um, some colors um, a little bit later. Um, I gotta see if I have all the colors here. Oh, I think I have some yellow, maybe and some green, okay? Okay, so I need to use my good, okay, so heterozygous. That means that I am heterozygous for both traits, okay? So keep in mind that we have to be, we have to have both traits, we're putting them together, okay? So heterozygous means one, one of each. So parent number one, I must be big G, little g, big R, little r, okay? So I'm going to stop and I'm going to think about um, what my, my different little, so let's say my different sperm might be, okay? And here's the thing, you have to have one of each. So it's very much like algebra where we take one of each. Are you ready? So G, big G, and a big R. Okay? Let's do it again. Let's do another rainbow. Big G and little r. Okay? Okay, let's do the bottom. Little G, big R. And little g, little r. Okay, those are my different combinations. I have to have one, each letter represented, okay? All right, parent number two, homozygous dominant. Homo means same and it means, dominant means I have all capital letters. So big G, big G, big R, big R. Okay, same thing again. Big G, big R. So these are going to go on the side. Big G, big R. Hmm. Big G, big R. Hmm. Seems like I've got the same thing, don't I? Big G, big R. Okay. And big G, big R. Okay. So what I would suggest is I would, those are my four gametes from parent number two here. And let's see what other colors I have here. Um, I have red and Here's my four gametes from parent number one. Okay. You decide how you like to do your um, squares if you want. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to start doing this. If you want to stop the video and try it. Or if you want to try it on your own and then see if yours matches up with mine.
Notice I'm putting my G's first, which look like sixes, so sorry about that. Okay, hopefully you got the same things as me. So to me, this is the fun part. Um, this is where you start to, if I were you, I'd go back and color. So remember that anything that's got a big G is green. So anything with a big G is green. Guess everybody's green. And um, I guess I'm going to draw a circle for everybody who's got a big R means it's round. So, wow, looks like we're all. Looks like we're all round. Okay. So offspring genotype ratio. So what are our different genotypes? These are kind of, this is going to be a pain, okay? Um, just because these are a little bit, um, these are a little bit long sometimes, but it looks like these are all the same in a row, aren't they? Okay, so I really have four different genotypes. Looks like I have big G, big G, big R, big R, big G, big G, big R, little R, big G, little G, R, big R, big R, and big G, little G, big R, little R. And it looks like I have four of each going across. So that would be to one, to one. Now, okay. Now, what would be my phenotypic ratio? Well, what am I? I'm all green and round. Now, how many are there all together? Well, four by four, that's 16 to, oh, let me write it like this. 16 to nothing. 16. So all, all offspring are going to be green and round. Using the results shown in your Punnett square, how many offspring will have the dominant phenotype? Um, all of them. 100%. So I'm going to write that as a percent. Okay. Hardest part, this part. Okay. It's not filling this out. It's not even doing this. It's really coming up with this. This is where kids struggle. Okay. Shall we try another one? All right. Let's give the next one a try. Okay. Two dogs, heterozygous, for two traits, fur texture and nose color breed. Black fur is dominant, yellow fur is recessive. Hmm. Let's do big B is black and little b is yellow. Um, pink nose is dominant and little p is a black nose. And that's recessive. Okay. All right. And it just said two dogs that are heterozygous for both traits. That means they have a big capital and a small letter for both traits. So big B, little B, big P, little P, big B, little B, big P, little P. Now here's the nice thing. Once you get one parent, 
it'll be easy. We can just copy over the second. Okay, are you ready? So remember, we're gonna rainbow. Big B to a big P. Okay, this is parent number one. Big B to a little P. Okay. Little B, big P. And little B, little P. Okay, remember this is looking at these. Okay, but since both parents are the same, I'm going to go ahead and copy down what I have here, right here. Big, small p, little b, big p, and little b, little p. Okay. So you could kind of think about this as maybe the, the egg and maybe these are the sperm. Okay. Alrighty, are you ready? So you can pause it or you can work. I would not copy as I'm copying, I would give it a try on your own and maybe just look up to check to see how you're doing. You can even do it like this if you want. Do all your B's first. And then maybe your P's. Sometimes it helps if you do it that way. Then you don't get mixed up. Because man, after a while, you can start Right, and all kinds of stuff, goofy stuff. Yeah. Hopefully I'm not making any mistakes. We definitely are getting a different mix, aren't we? You can tell right away that you're getting some different because you're having to stop and kind of think about before you write. Now... I am not going to lie. I probably will not have you do this. Here's why. There are so many different combinations. And the genotypic ratio would just be ridiculous. It'd be, if you can see, there's kind of a pattern. It'd be a one to two to two. to one, to four, to two, to one, to two, to one. So you see how it goes in a pattern kind of? And that, that, to be honest, is not going to be helpful. So not helpful here. That's not going to help us. I'm more interested in we need to figure out what color stuff is. So I'm going to get my... I'll use an Expo marker here, okay? So we're going to go for black fur is dominant. All right, so anything that has a big B, I'm going to color black. So big B, big B, big B, big B. Okay. Now... That means anything that's got a little b, little b is going to be yellow fur. It, let me rephrase that. Two little b's. Okay. Um, pink nose. So I'm going to use my 
um, highlighter, even though I used my egg here. So big P is a pink nose. So pink, pink, pink. Hmm. Okay. And did I miss any? Okay. All right. So now these are interesting. So let's let's do our first, which seems to be our most numerous. Looks like black fur. And a pink nose. All right. Then we have black fur and a black nose, right? And then we have yellow fur, pink, and yellow fur and black nose. All right. So how many black and pink? One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine. All right. How many black, black and black? One, two, three. How many yellow and pink? One, two, three. And one yellow and black. So a th nine to three to three to one ratio, which is a classic ratio when you take two heterozygous for a dihybrid cross. How many of their offspring will have the recessive phenotypes for both traits? One out of 16. And you can do the math on that. What's one divided by... 16, 1 16, what is that point? Um, 1, 2, 5. Um, so what is that? 12.5%. You'd have to do the math for me quick. I don't have a calculator handy, but I almost think it's point. Um, 16 goes into 10. Oh, maybe it's one. No, I think it's maybe eight, isn't it? Is it eight two eight point eight one two five? I don't remember. You can leave it one out of sixteen for right now. Okay. All right. So you're gonna try this on your own. Use this as a template um, and practice. Um, you do have that um, Ed Puzzle. If you didn't copy notes down on the Ed Puzzle, you need to do so so that you can hand that in um, tomorrow. We will practice more um, on the practice sheet um, and go from there.